In this video, I'm going to show you how to challenge all of the inaccurate inquiries in less than four seconds. Coming up. All right, so before we get started, I want to give you a free 30 day trial of the Client Dispute Manager software. And all you have to do is click the link below to get your free 30 day trial. Once you click it, you're going to be taken to a page just like this. And this is where you can claim your free five attack letters. That's right. You can claim your free five attack letters. All you have to do is click the link below, fill out this information right here and get access to our free 30 day trial of the client dispute manager software. And we're also giving you a lot of other benefits as well. We're giving you a lot of free um, resources as well when you sign up for the free 30 day trial. So just click the link below and get your free trial. When disputing inaccurate inquiries, we must first understand what is permissible purposes. What is permissible purposes? Well, basically what that means is that you have to give the creditor rights to pull your credit report. Permissible. Permissible permission purposes to pull and review your credit report. So if you didn't give the creditor that permission to pull your credit report or, or, or a car dealer or whoever pulling your credit report, then they didn't have permission to pull your credit report. And that's will that's where you will base most of all of your inquiry disputes off is permissible purposes to pull your credit report. So now that we know what permissible purpose is when it comes to inquiries, now what are the two key things we need to know about inquiries? First, we need to know that inquiries can drop the credit score from three to five points. And we're talking about hard inquiries not soft inquiries. Well, what is hard inquiries, Mark? Hard inquiries is when you go apply for credit and the bank gives you money. That's hard inquiry, right? You're asking for money and in return, the bank gives you the money. That's a hard inquiry. A soft inquiry is basically when you apply for utilities, when you go to turn on your cable or when you go to turn on your power, that's soft inquiries. And those inquiries do not impact your credit score. So there's no need for you to dispute soft inquiries. Another thing you want to remember is that hard inquiries only affect the credit score for the first 12 months. So disputing them after 12 months doesn't make any sense, right? Only the first 12 months is where hard inquiries impact the credit score. So what you want to do is you want to focus only on the inquiries that you did not give permission to the creditors in order to to view your credit report. So you want to focus on those. Forget about the soft inquiries because they have no impact. And you only want to focus on hard inquiries within the first 12 months. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to dispute inaccurate hard inquiries the manual way. And then I'm going to show you how to use our AI attack engine to dispute those same hard in inquiries in less than what? Four seconds. All right, so I'm in the dispute manager screen right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dispute uh, the hard inquiries, the inaccurate inquiries manually, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go over to the bureau screen right here for this customer, James. And as you can see, I have four inquiries. I have Bank of America, CarMax, Chase, and Wells Fargo, and they're all inquiries. So what I'm gonna do manually is I have to pick a dispute letter. So I'll just go ahead and pick up the initial dispute letter, which is this one. And then I can either use any of my custom dispute reasons or I can go straight to uh, inquiry dispute reasons down here. And I can say I never authorized this inquiry. I can click add your dispute and let's go to another dispute reason for the second one, which is a uh, CarMax. Uh, these inquiries are inac inaccurate. Okay, that's the second one. Third is Chase Bank. We'll go to a different dispute reason. Um, where did these inquiry, where did this inquiries or creditor did not have permission? Okay. And let's go to the fourth one, which is Wells Fargo. And let's pick another dispute reason for inquiries. And we can say this inquiry is inaccurate. We can go add your dispute. And then we can go ahead. As you can see, we can see all the inquiries here in the grid. Now this is the manual way of disputing. And we would review everything here. And then we will simply click on send to print. 
And once it's sent to print, then all of the inquiries manually have been sent to print. Okay, so this is manual. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how to do it from a factual and using our AI factual metric to attack engine to send out the inquiries. Now that I've shown you how to dispute inaccurate inquiries on the credit report using our manual dispute version and the client dispute manager. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same exact thing using our AI uh, factual and Metro two attack engine, which you can do in a matter of like four seconds. So let me show that to you right now. Okay. So let's go ahead. And now we're going to use our AI factual and Metro two attack engine to show you how quickly you can dispute inaccurate inquiries in less than four seconds. Before we showed you the manual way, now let me show you the AI way. So we have our same customer. I'm going to go ahead and click on AI. And then I'm going to click on factual and consumer law tax. And then I'm going to click on factual consumer law tax here. So what I want to do is go down to inquiry blazer. So when I click on inquiry blazer, it's going to show me all of the inquiries for this particular customer and this particular credit report. Let me show you right now. All right, so we're in the inquiry section right here, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is select all inquiries. And all I have to do is click on execute attack. And we're done. And that's it. All of the inquiries that I wanted to challenge have been sent to the bulk print screen. Let's click OK. And now let's go to the bulk print screen. And as you can see right here, um, these are all the inquiries. Uh, that I disputed. So let me show you really quick. Okay, let's go one, two, these right here. These inquiries right here are from the AI attack engine. And these right here, one, two, three, four, five, are from the manual dispute that I uh, talked to you about earlier. Okay, these are some other disputes here, but we're focusing on just the inquiries by itself. So these inquiries right here are from the AI. And these inquiries here are from the manual dispute. There you have it. Now you know a little bit about challenging inaccurate hard inquiries on your credit report. Now you know that you should be using our AI factual attack engine to process your hard inquiries, your inaccurate hard inquiries in less than four seconds. I'm glad you watched this video. Hey, listen, before you leave, I want you to watch the next scene have something special for you. So make sure you stay and go ahead and watch the next scene. I have a special gift for you. Don't forget to get your free five attack letters by simply signing up for the free 30 day software trial. And all you have to do is click the link below. Once you click the link, you will be taken to a page like this where you can fill out your information. And we're also giving you all these other additional resources as well. And this is for you. If you're trying to start and run a successful credit repair business, just sign up for the free 30 day trial to get your free five attack letters for absolutely free to start your dispute journey. Click the link below to get started.